So when I when I reach out to them, right, I'll I'll, rec- I'll search for them and then I'll start requesting them. And the first message message that I'll send them, I won't send them a message right mm-hmm. away. So don't mm-hmm. don't don't send them a message right away. You know, request request friends and then and then you know let them let them just be your friend for a few days. Because what you mm-hmm. want to do is you want to just there there's a lot you gotta you know you want to you want to make sure that you're requesting a lot and and do maybe just do 20 a day if if that if face don't worry about anything you read online just mm-hmm. just okay. just worry about what facebook tells you so if you do request people fast then then facebook might give you some notification they'll just give you like a warning to slow down or to only request people that that you know but but disregard that just do it every day, you know, do it every day. That's, that's exactly what I do. That's still what I do today. I, that's how I have 5,000 friends mm-hmm. and, and I'll unfriend, you know, I'll unfriend a bunch of them and then I'll request more, you know, so I, m- the goal is to get to 5,000, right? So don't worry mm-hmm. about when, when someone accepts your request, don't worry about message them right away. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't worry about that. So once you have a, a, a few hundred friends, then you can start going in and start requesting and, and what you're looking at, let me show you. Let me show you someone who's not, not my client. Um, so let's say, let's say um, this one right here. So if I, mm-hmm. if I am now friends with Nicole, the first thing that, I, that I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look at her intro because this is a business owner, right? This is not mm-hmm. a normal person. This is a business owner. So that's exactly why the services that we want to start with and offer them, that's why they, they, they know they're, it's valuable. And that's why they're willing to pay you because they're a business owner. So when you come over here and you look at their intro, here's what happens 99% of the time. Right here at the top, this is a link to her boss's business page. And she doesn't know any better. Right. Nicole, she doesn't even know. She doesn't even know any better. She doesn't know that this link should be hers. She doesn't even know. So when I'm on the phone with her and I tell her, I say, Nicole, this link, what you're doing with your 1900 friends is your 1900 friends are liking your boss's page. And the Mm -hmm. moment when I tell her that she's like, wow, David, I didn't even know that. So they don't even know. They don't even know. They They don't even realize that they're doing the wrong thing. So the moment, again, I'll have her page up and then I'll have my page up or I'll have a client, her page up. So normally what I do is I'll find a client that, that I, you know, that I have in the same business. So Nicole, she's in real estate, Candy, she's in real estate. Candy is my client. So Mm -hmm. a lot of times when I'm, when I'm doing screen share and I'm talking to them, I'm showing them their intro and then I'm showing them my client's intro. So here's what I show them. I say, Nicole, this link, this is what I call step one. This link needs to be your business page, not your boss's. Because the 1900 friends, they're liking this page and, and, and they're thinking that it's your business page when it's really your boss's. So the automatically when I tell her that, she understands. She's like, wow, David, you're right. I need to change that right away. And then I tell her, okay, you have former, um, studied, 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 went, none of that stuff is important. None of it. Now, what you're doing is you're showing it, Nicole, what, what Nicole is doing is she's showing it in the intro. It doesn't need to be there because when I click on about and I go to the overview, that's where I can see everything. If I go to work in education, that's where I can see the former studied, studied. I don't need to see it in the intro because again, the reason why this intro is so important is because this is the first impression and this is where people get to see your page for the first time. It's the intro. And so if I don't provide the correct link to that, to that person who's visiting my page, I might lose them. They may, they may never come back to my page again because we all have thousands of friends on social media. So, so a lot of the times an individual is only coming to your page one time. Like this is the very first time I came to Nicole's page and it'll probably be the only time. And until I, until I end up messaging her 
and, and, and trying to schedule a call. But I don't think I've messaged her yet. Let, let's look at the messages. Yeah, mm -hmm. see, I, ha I haven't even. Oh, actually, I have. I have. I've already started the conversation with her. And I started the conversation with her 2018. 2018. Mm -hmm. So what I do with a person that is that old, that as far as messaging that long ago, what I do, and she never reply, I normally don't schedule that far out. So what I end up doing is I, if I message them a month ago and they never replied, here's what I do. Mm -hmm. Unfriend. Mm -hmm. No one cares about you unfriending them because no one knows you. I have 5,000 friends. No one knows me. So when I, when I unfriend somebody, people don't even notice. She has 1,900 friends. If I unfriend her, she's not even going to notice because she doesn't even know me. That's the thing about social media. So as you start to request thousands of people, no one knows you and no one cares. So as long as you're not disrespecting, as long as you're not sending anything mean in the message, then, then, then you don't have anything to worry about. But, but what I'm showing you here is the fact that when, when I message a few people and they don't, they don't reply back, I give them maybe a couple of weeks. If they don't reply, if they don't answer my question, maybe I ask them a question and they never answered it. I just unfriend them. Maybe a mm -hmm. few weeks later, I unfriend them because there's so many in, with me, what I do real estate agents, there's so many of them. There's already a, there's a couple million. I don't care about Nicole. She doesn't care about me. She doesn't even know me. You know what I mean? So, so mm -hmm. unfriend them. Don't keep messaging them. Do not keep bugging them. Don't keep bothering them. You know, ask them one question. If they don't reply, then, then, then wait, wait like a couple weeks. And then, and then as you come back in your messages and maybe you notice, you know, you, you notice that that person way down here, you know, let's say, let's say, look, 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 here's Nicole. Here's Nicole. Oh, where did, where did she go? It was, um, let me, let me show you there. There she is right there. Three weeks ago. Let me, um, mm -hmm. let me show you. Cause this is real stuff. This is exactly what I do. And this mm -hmm. is exactly what I'm trying to teach you. Let me go. Let me go to her. Hers is right there, but I have to keep scrolling. Let me, um, here's what I do. Here's exactly what I do. Where is Nicole? Um, okay. Right here. I, it keeps going down right here, right here. Okay. Perfect. So mm -hmm. look, this was three weeks ago, right? This was three mm -hmm. weeks ago. So I noticed that she didn't reply. And I know people are busy. I get it. But but I'm busy too. I'm busy too. Mm -hmm. And I have thousands of people to talk to. So I don't need to wait for Nicole. So what I do is I end up waiting maybe a few weeks. I don't, I don't keep checking her. I don't care about her. I don't care about any of these people. All I do is I message, 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 message. I don't even care. I don't even know who Jennifer, Mary Ann, Amy. I don't care. I don't care about none of them. Right. In a respectful way. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, I don't even know these people. So, so what I do is I notice that she didn't reply and I noticed that was three weeks ago. So I unfriend her and then I come over here and I delete the message. So I have to open it in messenger to delete it. But what mm -hmm. I do is I, I delete, I just delete. Cause I don't need that message anymore. I don't need Nicole's message anymore. I delete it, get it, get it out of here, delete I don't follow up. I don't need to. I again, the follow up is maybe the question. If they if they don't reply to that question, there's nothing else to say. You know, there's nothing. Maybe maybe, maybe I'll send one last message. Hey Nicole, did you did you get my message a, a, a couple of days ago? And if she doesn't reply to that, then I for sure unfriend her. Right? I unfriend her. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'm showing her to begin with. Before, let's say, let's say I, I get her on the call and, and, and now we're on Zoom and now I'm sharing my screen. I'm showing her this intro. I'm showing her the fact that that needs to be her business page. I'm showing her that she doesn't need to show the former, the studied, the, the studied, the studied. And a lot of the times, many, many times, 99% of the time, they don't even know how to edit this. They don't even know how to remove it. That's why, again, they're going to they're going to know that your service is valuable because you're going to be able to help them clean up this intro and they don't even know how to do that. Mm -hmm. So so here's what I tell them. I say, hey, none of this stuff needs to be here, but this link, this is the most important that needs to be your page. And then also what needs to be down here, because, Nicole, you're a business owner, what needs to be down here are your social media links. So, Nicole, 
here's what your intro looks like. And here's what my client Candy's intro looks like, who is, who is my client. So right mm -hmm. away, when I come to her, her personal page, right away, she's showing me a link to her business page, not her boss's. So her 2,900 friends are able to see her page and like her page, not her boss's. And also, Nicole, what, what Candy is also showing me is she's showing me her Instagram, her Twitter, her Pinterest, her LinkedIn, her website address. And Nicole, if you look closely, every single link is matching. That is her brand. That is her business. That is her company. When you show that to Nicole, she's going to be blown away because she is also a real estate agent. And now she's going to feel a little jealous. She's going to feel, oh man, my needs to look like that. How do I get it to look like that? Well, I'm glad you asked, Nicole. That's what I want to do for you. That's what I do for clients is I help them with their social media branding. Everybody knows the importance of having their business on social media. Everyone knows the importance of having a Facebook business page. Everyone knows the importance of social media marketing and Facebook advertising. But Nicole, what I'm here to show you is the basics. We're not there yet. I'm not here to, to pitch you Facebook advertising or any expensive marketing package. We're not there yet. What I'm showing you is the basics. After looking at your page, this is the basics. We need to update this intro because you're missing a lot of business. That's step one. And then, Nicole, what I tell, what I tell her is I say, okay, that's step one. And I say, is there not a difference when I look at your intro versus looking at Candy's intro? I ask her that question, and she says right away, she says, David, Oh yeah, there's definitely a difference. I like the way candies look. How do I get it to look like that? Well, again, Nicole, I'm glad you asked. That's what I want to help you with. And, and you always want to say help. That's what I want to help you with, right? It's always, mm -hmm. you're helping them always help say the word help. You don't want to, you don't want to say, Oh, that's what we do. That's what we do for, for clients. You know, that's our package. That's our service. No, that's what I want to help you with. Right. I want to help you build your business on social media. And this is step one. OK. And, and, and so once I tell her that I then say, OK, look, Nicole. Let me show you the majority of real estate agents on their business page. Here's what's going on. All of you guys, because here's what's going to happen as you start to as you start to request everybody in the same niche, whether it's a plumber, a dance studio, a, a, a martial arts studio, a, a, an MMA, whatever, a, a dentist, a lawyer, whatever. As you start to request a lot of those people on, on, on your personal Facebook page, what they're all going to end up doing is sending you an invite to like their page. That's what they all do. It doesn't matter if it's a real estate agent or a plumber. It does not matter. It's a small business owner. If they are a small business owner, they all want more likes on their Facebook business page. All of them. They just don't know how to do it. They don't know how to run a Facebook ad. All they do is click invite to their, to their, to their 1900 mm -hmm. friends. That's all they do. Just like you, you clicked invite to invite some friends. That's all people do. Right? So when I show her, I say, Hey, Nicole, here's the deal. You've been clicking invite and you actually sent me an invite. And when I look at anyone's page, 99% of you guys have anywhere from 100 to maybe 300 likes. This, this person, Naomi, I don't know who this is. This is not my client. But this person, Naomi, she happens to have a little bit more, right? But the mm -hmm. majority of people will have anywhere from 100 to maybe 300 likes. 99%. And I tell her, I say, Nicole, you have, let's, let's say Naomi. Naomi. You have 500 likes. Let me show you my client candy. And this is what I call step two. And the reason why this like count is so important, the reason why it's not for more leads, it's not to make more sales. It's, 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 it, it's simply for credibility. So just like when I come to your page and I see the intro on the personal page, step one, 
What that really shows me is credibility. That shows me that your branding is better than everybody else. You have, you have one name for everything. That's step one. But when I come to the business page, when I come to the business page, let me go back to, um, let me go back to um, that other one or any other one. Let me, let me go, Brittany. Let me go to um, any business page. So, so now we're talking step two. When I go to anybody's business page, again, a couple hundred likes. So now the reason why this is so important, look, 300 likes. I'm telling you, everyone, man, 99.9%, 9 100 to 300 likes. And the reason why this is so important, I tell, I tell Marianne, is because this like number, when people land on your business page and they scroll down just a little bit, this like number is the first impression. So when people land here for the first time, you want them to think that you're the shit. You want them to think that you're the best one in the business. But when I see 300, I don't think that. And the reason why that number is so important, because no one knows you. Marianne can be very, very successful. She could be a number one real estate agent in the entire state. But no one knows that. Because on social media, we all have thousands of friends that don't know us. So if Marianne is really a top income earner, if she is the number one real estate agent, the only people who know that is her boss and her friends in the office, maybe her family. That's it. But everybody else that's her friend on Facebook, unless it's her real friend. But everybody else, that's the thing. As we start to request thousands of people, none of these people are our real friends. So Candy, she has 2,900 friends. I would say 200 of them are her real friends. Friends she went to high school with, friends she went to elementary, grade school with, friends, maybe her daughter's parent, right? 200, mm -hmm. 200 out of 2,900. Maybe 200 are her real friends. The other ones don't know you. So that's why when I come to your business page and I see 307, yes, you may be very, very successful. But when I look at 300, I don't think that. And that's important to your brand. So when I come here, I see 307. I come to Candy's page. I come to Candy's business page and I see 3,500. I don't know you, Marianne. I don't know Naomi. I don't know Nicole and I don't know Candy, but I come to Candy's business page and I see 3,500 and automatically I think that she's the one doing it. I think that she's the successful one. That's what we automatically think, right? Because she has mm -hmm. 3,500 likes and you have 300, right? So that's right. why when I show her, I say, hey, look, Marianne, you have 307, Candy has 3,500, that can only happen with a Facebook ad. And then I ask her, I say, hey, have you ran a Facebook ad lately? And, and, and again, 99% of the time, they say, I tried ads, but they never worked for me. Or, or they'll say that I never ran an ad. Or they'll say that I tried running a like ad, but it didn't work for me. And the reason why... Anyone that says that they ran a like ad and it didn't work or they spent a lot of money and they only got 25 likes, someone that does that is because they ran the like ad to their local area. This is a local business owner, right? When you start going after martial arts or dance studios, those are local business owners. So automatically what they try to do is they try to run a like ad to their local area. And that's not how to do it. That's why you don't have that many likes. That's why, Marianne, you only got three, 307 because you ran it to your local area. You have to run the like ad to everyone on Facebook, to everyone on Facebook. And that's when you target worldwide. That's how, how you have to run it to everyone on Facebook who fits the interest of real estate or dancing or martial arts. So when you go and run the ad, Nick, you're only choosing one keyword. So if, if you're running a like ad for a martial arts studio, then you're going to use the one keyword, the one keyword in the industry, martial arts. If I'm going to run a like ad for a dance studio, then I'm going to run the ad worldwide, like ad worldwide, 
and I'm going to target one keyword and it's going to be dancing. Very simple. With real estate, I target one keyword, real estate. That's it. And so that's why, and, and I tell them too, I say, Marianne, I, I don't tell her worldwide, but I say, Marianne, the like ad, I'm going to run it to everyone on Facebook. Everyone, everyone. There's a billion people, billion, couple billion people on Facebook. I'm going to run it to everyone on Facebook who fits the interest of real estate. And then she's like, okay, yeah, okay, great. And then I tell her, I say, the like ad is the only one that you run to everyone. After we're done with that, we'll talk in a couple of weeks when that ad is done. And then we'll talk about running local ads to capture leads. But the leads don't come from likes. What comes from likes is the, the first impression. What comes from the like count is the fact that when someone lands here and they see a big number, they're, they're automatically hooked. They, 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 they want to do business with you. They want to follow you. They think that you're, you're credible. They think that you're, you're, you're the best one out there. That's why the like number is so important. Um, and everybody overlooks that. So, so that's why I tell them, I say, Hey, this is the very first ad. I don't want to charge you monthly to run ads to your local area. We're not there yet. This is the first ad that I run for clients. And this is a one-time ad. So whatever your budget is, let's put it all in on this one ad. You don't need to spend a whole lot, but, but anywhere from a hundred to 500 USD, let's put towards a like ad and we're going to run it for, for, for two weeks. That's what you tell the client. And then you tell, you tell her, you say, hey, in two weeks, we're going to talk again and we can, we're going to review all of the links. We're going to review the like, the like number. Now, you don't, show, you don't need to show her your ad manager. You don't need to show her the numbers and the cost. And you don't, you don't show her any of that. That's your, that, those are your numbers. That's your business, right? You don't, you don't show her none of the numbers. The only thing you're showing her is the like number. So you're back on Zoom two weeks later. We're looking at the fact that we got all the links set up. See, look, the, the links, they go in the intro of the personal page. They also go over here on the business page. So again, when I come to Marianne's page, her business page, not only do I see 307, low number, but I don't see any social media links. Mm -hmm. And then I see an ugly domain right? That's not even mm -hmm. her domain. That's her, that's her brokers. That's her boss's domain. That's not even her domain. She does not own that domain. So this is a business owner that does not even own her own domain. This is her company's domain. So, so I'm showing her this. I'm saying, hey, hey, Marianne, part of step one, part of the links is also adding them over here. So I noticed over here, you have this website, you have the email, but you're missing everything else. You're missing Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest. And then I tell her, I say, the reason why that's so important, Marianne, is because today we're now in a social media world. Today, no one is picking up the phone and calling you. Unless it's some creep and he just wants to try to flirt with you or take you on a date. But you don't need any of that. You don't need any random guys calling you. So I tell her, I say, hey, your phone number on social media is not important. Take it off. What we need to put here is Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, your Twitter. Because today, people are going to message you on social media before they ever pick up the phone and call you. And then I tell her, I say, Marianne, that's exactly how you and I got here on Zoom today. I don't even know your phone number. This all started from me sending you a message on Facebook. And it could have been on LinkedIn, it could have been on Twitter, it could have been on Instagram, same thing. But I'm telling her on Facebook because these are the services that we provide on Facebook, right? The links, the like. So that's why Facebook is where I message. I don't message on the other platforms because I'm trying to help them with their Facebook pages, right? So, so, so I tell her, I say, I say, and then also, also I tell her, I say, I say, I say, Marianne, the whole reason for these links is not so that you can go out there and have to learn everything about Pinterest. It's not that you have to go and learn everything about Twitter and now you have to post every day on Twitter. No, in fact, I don't want you to post on anything to tell you the truth. The whole purpose of this, the reason why we're doing this is for our brand. If this is the name that you're branding, 
hedge properties, you better hope. And let's say you have it on. Okay, look, for example, look, she has over here on Facebook, she has Gallagher, Gallagher no, sells, no, no. right? Here's right. what I tell her. I see Marianne, how do you know that someone doesn't own the dot com? I say, Marianne, how do you know that someone else doesn't even already have the LinkedIn? So if this is the name that you're branding, you better hope that someone doesn't have it on Twitter. And then now that gets her thinking. She's like, holy shit, you're right. That's my, that's my business name. I need to make sure that I have that on all these platforms. And I tell her, I say, really, it's not a lot. It's really just, it's Facebook, the business page. And then it's Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Those are the top five and the dot com. So that's what I want to do for you is I want to, I want to simply link everything. I want to list it all on your Facebook page. I want to go over to each platform and customize the name for you. If you don't know how already, I want to be able to do that for you. Because again, it's not about you posting on social media on all these platforms. It's all about making sure that you own that name. I don't care if you don't, if you, if you never have Twitter, I don't care if you don't know anything about Twitter, it does not matter. You are a business owner. So we need to make sure that that name is saved on Twitter, bottom line, bottom line. And then when I, when I tell them that, then they understand they're like, David, you know what? You're right. I don't know anything about Pinterest, but that is my name. And I better make sure I save it over there as well. Because, and then I tell her, I tell them again, I say, Hey, you know what? Here's the reality. Just because you and I connected on Facebook, right? This is what I'm telling, you know, Marianne or Nicole or whoever, when I'm on the call with them, I'm saying, just because we connected on Facebook, how do you know that I don't spend all of my time on LinkedIn? You don't know that Marianne, right? You don't, you don't, mm -hmm. you don't know that. So like, look, look, Tabitha, this is not my client. This is the first time I'm coming to her page. This is a business owner. And this is what she has in the intro. That's it. So again, when I show her Candy's page, she's going to see the value, right? Because again, I could spend all my time on Instagram just because you and I, Tabitha, just because you and I connected on Facebook, I could spend all my time on Pinterest. And if I saw your Pinterest link, I would have clicked on it. I would have followed you there. And because I'm more comfortable messaging on Pinterest, I would have sent you a message on Pinterest. And if that message was regarding real estate, you better hope you get that message. That's why it's so important to be able to provide the links because this is the world we're in now. Just because you're not on LinkedIn, 800 million people are. Just because you're not on Twitter, 900 million people are. So you better have your branding ready to go, right? And so, and so again, okay. step one, the links, making everything. So look, back to the, back to the links again real quick. Hedgeproperties.com. Hedge properties at Gmail, hedge properties, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, everything is one name. That's value. Okay. And they don't know how to do that because if they know how to do it, or if they knew the importance of it, they would have already done it. Right. No one, no one, no one even, even, no one even realizes that basic step and how important it is to your business. Right. So, right. so I say, okay, let's get everything linked up. Let's get the like ad going. All I need to do is request access to your business page. So what I'm going to do, let's say Marianne, let's say I'm, let's say I'm requesting access to this one. Okay. So what I would do is I would go to my business, my business settings, right? I would go to my ads mm -hmm. manager. This is my ads manager. I'm not going into their ads manager. I don't need any of that. I'm going to my business manager. And what I do is I go to business settings, right? So right here at the top, you see the, the, the navigation business settings. So what I want to do is I want to go to, I want to go to pages. Okay. I want to go to pages and all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add request access to a page. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to copy her link. Mm -hmm. I'm going to copy her link. And then I'm going to come over here and paste it mm -hmm. just like that. And what I want is I want create ads. 
just create ads. And I tell, I tell Marianne, I say, Marianne, all I'm doing right now is I'm going to request access to your business page so I can run this one ad. That's it. That's what I tell Marianne. I tell her exactly like that. That way she doesn't think that I'm going to be in her account all the time. That way she doesn't think that I'm going to be, you know, looking at her messages or anything like that. I say, no, I'm only going to come here and I'm going to create ads. I'm going to request access to create an ad. And, and I'm going to, and, and I'm going to, I'm going to simply run this one time ad. Give me one second. Okay. Sorry about that. So, so I end up clicking on create ads right there. And then I click the blue button request access. Here's what's going to happen. And I do this. I do this when I'm on the zoom call with her. I do this at the very end. So right when she says, okay, David, you know, what's okay. So, so you're going to set up the links for me and you're going to run the like ad for me. Okay. What's that going to cost? And I say, I say, Tabitha, it's kind of up to you. You know, for every 1,000 likes, the Facebook ad budget is about 100 USD. 100 USD for every 1,000 likes. So it really comes down to how many do you want? 1,000 likes, 2,000 likes, 3,000 likes. And then I tell her all the time, I say, you know what? You don't need a whole lot. Like you need maybe three, 4,000 the most. So I even, I, I even tell them that. I say, you know what? I don't want you to spend 1,000 USD you know, I, the max, I tell them 500. Mm -hmm. I say, if you put 500, that's the most. If you, if you spend 500 on this one campaign, what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to set up all your links and I'm going to be able to run the like ad and that'll be a one-time 500 USD. And with that budget, I'm going to be able to take your like count from five, from 307 to mm -hmm. 5,300. So that's 5,000. Right for every one thousand mm -hmm. likes, it's a it's one hundred USD. So if I'm gonna if I, if 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 I'm gonna charge her five hundred, then I'm gonna take her five thousand, take her up five thousand. Okay, so so here's what happens. She says, "Okay, great. I have a budget of four hundred dollars USD. Can can you do? Can you can you work with that?" I say, "Great. Okay, four hundred USD. We're gonna take the number up four thousand. So in the next couple weeks, this number is gonna be forty three hundred, and that's all you need." I tell mm -hmm. her, I say, Marianne, this is a one-time ad. I don't, I don't need you to ever run this ad again because once I run it and I take you up to 4,300, you're going to have more likes than everyone in your industry. That's, that's step two. After we do that, we're going to talk again in two weeks. And that's when, we're, that's when we'll talk about more of a monthly program, more of our monthly packages where we run Facebook ads to your local area to capture leads. And with the martial arts studio or with the dance studio, those are the easiest, easiest ads to run. And the reason why is because all you have to do, now you have to learn how to run Facebook ads, first of all, but once you learn how to run Facebook ads, it's a very, very simple promotion because a gym, a martial arts, a, a, a dance studio, it's so easy to run an ad to get people to download a coupon for free seven day pass. That's mm -hmm. what the gyms give away. The martial art, they'll give you a three day pass. Maybe mm -hmm. they give you a one day pass. So you tell the martial arts studio, you say, Hey, do you have any promotions going on right now that we can give for free? Do you have a seven day pass? Do you have a five day pass? Because I can run ads to our local area and get people to download a seven day pass to come into the martial arts studio to train to see how it is. That's it, man. So if you can get people to download a coupon and get people to their door, they will keep paying you every month. And they'll pay you a lot. They'll pay you a thousand USD because especially with martial arts studios and, 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 and MMA and even boxing gyms and, and dance studios, these places are expensive. Like the, 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 the jujitsu, the jujitsu, uh, 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 dojo right here in my, in my area, $150 USD every month for one person, a oh. dance studio, the dance studio down the street for my little baby. I have a little two-year-old little daughter, the dance mm. studio down the street, 90 USD, $90 USD every month. These places are not cheap. So if they're, if they're charging students that much, they have money. They have mm -hmm. money. So, it, so 1,000 USD. 
a thousand USD, and all Nick has to do is bring them 10 new students every month. There's a thousand dollars. It pays for itself. Mm-hmm. Right. And and and, right. and and again, the Facebook ad to get people to download a free seven-day pass to your dance studio, a free seven-day pass to your jujitsu dojo. Like this is basic, super easy. And 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 so, but again. I'm telling that that I'm telling that to them on the call, but I'm not selling them that package just yet because I want to prove myself. I want to earn their trust. I want to do step one first. I want to do step two second, the like ad. Then we'll talk in two weeks because if you can do two of those a week, Nick, 500 USD, if you're making a thousand dollars a week from home on your computer, two clients a week. That's step one and two. And then again, you get two clients a week. That's a lot of money where you're at, man. Ukraine, a thousand dollars a week. That's a lot of money for you make working from home. 1000 yes. USD. That's a lot of money, man. So you can, you can, you can support your family off of that alone. So if, if you just did two a week, if you did one a week, man, if you did one a week, 500 USD, one, one a week, here's what happens. You do four a month, one every week, four a month. At the end of the month, you're going to have one of them that becomes your monthly client. And that's when you charge them a thousand a month. Now we're running local Facebook ads to capture leads. So, so, um, 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 what else was I going to show you? Oh yeah. Yeah. So here's what happens. Here's what happens. I request access to the page, right? So I hit create ads I, I request, I click the blue button and here's what mm-hmm. happens right away. That, that person is going to get a, is They don't get a notification. Sometimes they get a notification, but, but most of the time they don't. Um, so what I do is I tell them, I say, okay, go to your computer and go to your business page. Okay. Go to your mm-hmm. business page from a computer, not your cell phone. I need you on a computer. Here's what you're going to do. Tabitha. You're going to go to your business page. Okay. I just requested mm-hmm. access to create ad. Now I need you to go to your business page. Here's what I tell them to do. You're going to go to your business page over here on the left-hand side. You're going to click on settings. This is what I'm telling the client. Then I'm going to tell her to click on page roles. Mm -hmm. And then right over here in the middle, here's what's going to happen right over here in the middle. They're going to see inspired digital they're going to see whatever name is my business manager right here so whatever this mm-hmm. name is and the way you change it if you want to change that name and change the image you just come down to business info business info will allow you to change that name so whatever your name is right here at the top that's what they're going to end up seeing on their on their page over here so they're going to see inspired digital and it's going to say right here the button this says give feedback on this business this button is going to say, um, uh, it's going to say respond to request. Mm-hmm. That's what it's going to say on her page. So I'm walking her through it. I'm saying, hey, Tabitha, click on settings, click on page roles, scroll down to the middle. You're going to see my name. Over here, you're going to click on respond to request. It's going to mm-hmm. ask you to continue. It's going to ask you to put your password. That's it. Once you put your password here, or once she puts her password, here's what you do. You come over here back to your business page, you refresh it, and then Mm -hmm. you're going to see the fact that now you're going to see it like this. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. You're going to see her name right here. You're going to see her name right here, and then you're going to have to add people. And this is where you're going to come over here, and you're going to add your name. Mm-hmm. Very, very important. Very, very important. You're going to add the name and you're going to go create ads. Assign, and that's when you see your name right here. And mm-hmm. now you have access to run a Facebook ad from your ads manager, but from her page. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so the image, the image, let me, let me show you um, this one right here. For the image, all I do is I don't ask them for an image. I don't do any of that. I go and get a a nice image. So for the image, all I do, whatever their business is, I come over to Google and I'll just type it in. 
Like if it's a martial arts studio, martial arts. And then I, I type that in and I go to images and I want a nice looking image. And you don't have to worry about copyrights or someone, mm -hmm. you know, suing you for using the image. You don't have to mm -hmm. worry about any of that because first of all, we're not selling the image. It's mm -hmm. only when you take this image and you start selling it. That's when you mm -hmm. can get in trouble, right? But we're not selling the image. So, so it doesn't matter. So what I'm doing over here is I'm going to use it for the like ad. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to find a really cool image. And here's the size for the ad that, that, that you need to look for. So when you come over here, you're looking for a very, very clear image, the best clear image, right? And then the mm -hmm. dimensions, as long as it's over 600, you can use it. Mm -hmm. So, so this is 1920 by 1183. You always want the 1183. You want that to be over 600. So if it's, if it's 1920 by 400, don't use it. 1920 mm -hmm. by 550, don't use it. It has to be 1920 by at least 600. So this is 1920 by 1183. This is a perfect image. I right click, I save image, and then I run an ad on that image. That's it. So I'm, I'm not using a vertical image. Do you see how this is vertical? I'm not uh -huh. using vertical. I'm using widescreen. I'm using more of a horizontal image. So look, 1280 by 720. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. That's a perfect, that'd be a great image for an ad, you know? So, um, so, so once I, once I, um, once I, once, once she responds to the request, the button, she clicks on it, respond to request. She puts her password. I, I then come over here. I refresh the page so I can add my name and now I can run the actual ad. Um, and then, and then the very last thing I do, the very last thing I do is once, once I actually have access to her page, this is very, very important. Very, very important. And this is the last part. And then I'm going to, I'm going to show you what I say to them. Cause I know that was the original question, but, but I wanted to show you all this. Cause this is super important. Here's what I do right away. After I set up the ad and I have it live to go live tomorrow, I always set the ad to go live at 12 AM. So right now, what time is it where you're at in Ukraine? What time is it? Uh, now it is uh, 7, 7 p.m. Okay. 7, uh, 54. <laughs> okay, perfect. So if it's already late, what I if it's already late in the day, in the evening, what mm -hmm. I do is I set the ad to go live the next day at 12 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm not setting the ad to go live right now. It's always 24 hours later at 12 a.m. Mm -hmm. That way we give Facebook plenty of time to review the ad. Okay. But here's what I do right away is I'll always come over here to, to the page. I'll view page. This is very, very important. Once I have access to her page, I then come over here and I go to her settings. I go to her settings. And then what I want to do is I want to click on notifications right here to the left mm -hmm. notifications. And then what I want to do is I want to turn off the notifications for new likes. And that's what I did on this one. I mm -hmm. turned it off. It's off. If I click it, then it's on because mm -hmm. I don't want her to be getting a notifications all damn day from people that like her page, because it's going to, it's going to, it's going to be a lot. Like we're talking 2000, 3000, 4000 likes. So mm -hmm. she's going to get notifications, you know, up here. She'll get her notifications. Hey, John liked your page. Stacy like she she'll get that shit all day. Right? So I don't I don't want that. Mm -hmm. I want to turn it off. I want to turn off the notifications for new likes. Okay? Um and then back to the original question of what do I even say to this person once I message them? Here's what I would say. Here's exactly what I would say. Is I would say and I'm recording this for you so so you'll have the recording. I would, I would message her the very first message. And, and again, I don't message her right away because all I'm doing is requesting friends, requesting, requesting, and I'll spend maybe, 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 maybe let's say one hour a day, one hour a day requesting new people. Again, mm -hmm. the goal is to get it to 5,000. So that's going to take you a while. So you want to, you want to do it every day. You know, you want to be doing it every day, an hour every day. You're requesting new friends every day. So as you're requesting new friends, you're going to have a bunch of people that start accepting you. And so whenever you decide to message them, 
that's fine. It doesn't have to be right away. So the moment I actually come over here to the friends and let's say I want to, I want to come over here to the friend friend list. And I want to look at, I want to look at my newest, you know, friend. And let's say, let's say it's, um, let's say it's this one right here, just Jasana. So I come over mm -hmm. here, I click on Jasana. Look, another perfect example. I come to her intro. This is the very first time I'm coming to her page. Very first time. Again, I look at the intro. I notice right away that that is not her business page. And I know it's not her business page because I know the business, right? I know, mm -hmm. I know the business. Once you start to learn the business, whatever martial arts, whatever, you're going to, you're going to know that that's not their page, right? So I know the real estate business. I know that's not her page. So right away I'm seeing it. And then I notice down here, there's no, there's no Instagram, LinkedIn, there's no website, none of that. Right? So I decide to send her a message. And what I'm going to say is going to, uh, is I'm going to say something very simple. I'm going to, and it's going to be friendly. It's not going to sound like I'm trying to pitch her or sell her anything. Here's, here's exactly what I would say. Hey, Jasana, this is David. Thank you so much for, for accepting my friend request. I noticed that you're super successful in real estate. That's really, really great. I help real estate agents with their social media marketing and Facebook advertising. I would love to give you some free information or some free tips someday to help you build your brand and take your business to a whole nother level on social media. If you have a few minutes, I'd love to chat. Let me know if you're available this week and I'll talk to you soon. That's it. They're either going to reply or they're not. When they reply, they'll say something like, that's really cool, David. Great to connect with you as well. In fact, I suck at social media. I don't know anything about social media marketing. In fact, I need to get my business on social media. I'd love, to, I'd love for some free information. That would be the reply if they reply. They're either going to reply and say something like that, or they're not going to reply. Okay? If they don't reply... I don't care if they do or don't. I don't even, I don't care. I don't care. I have so many people to message. I don't even care. I'm not chasing anyone. If I come back two weeks later and I notice that she never replied, what I do is I unfriend her. Mm -hmm. I unfriend her and I delete the message. That's it. I'm only working with the people who reply. So let's say, let's say, Jasana replies and she replies and she says, David, great to connect with you as well. I love social media. I'm over here trying to build my business, but I don't know too much. And again, I know that she doesn't know too much because nothing is listed. So she's going to reply and she'll say something like that. And, I, and, then, and then my second message back, my second message back. I'll say, yeah, a lot of people, you know, have a hard time with social media marketing, but it's actually pretty simple once you really learn it. Let me know if you have a few minutes tomorrow. Let me know if you have a few minutes tomorrow and I can show you some, some, some strategies that will really help your brand and help you capture more leads. But there's only one thing that I asked you, Santa. There's only one thing that I'm going to ask you for. If I give you all this free information, Will you please give me a good review on my business page? That's it. She replies back and she says, David, for sure. If you're going to give me some free information on how I can build my business, I'll give you the best review ever. Okay, great. And then I reply back. Okay, great. Send me your email and your best time tomorrow. I'll add us to the calendar and send you the invite. And here's what you can do for now. Since you don't, I use Kartra for everything, but if you don't mm -hmm. have any, any software, calendar, anything like that, mm -hmm. what you can do for free is you can use Calendly. So you can just set up a free Calendly. Go over here to Calendly. Are you familiar with Calendly? No. First okay. time I okay. This one right here is free um, and it's a calendar. So it allows you to schedule appointments with clients and they get an email right when, right when the appointment is scheduled. So you just come over here, come to the pricing, and you just do the free one, the basic. This is free. So you sign up with mm -hmm. this one, and that becomes your online calendar. 
So what you do is you don't send her your calendar link. Don't do that. Do not mm -hmm. send her your calendar link. Okay, okay, Jasana. what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you my calendar link and just go ahead and schedule it whenever you have time. Hell no, I'm not sending her that at all. I'm going to schedule it. So what I'm telling her is I'm saying in the message, I'm saying, send me your email and your best time tomorrow. I'll add us to the calendar and send you a link to my Zoom. And so what I do is I'll come to the calendar and in the calendar, in the actual email notification, because they receive an email mm -hmm. once the once the the, the 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 once it's scheduled, they'll receive an email. Hey, Jasana, your schedule is 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 booked, right? They'll receive an email. In that email, you'll want to provide the link to your Zoom. Mm -hmm. And then and then you reply back to her and you say, Jasana, I just scheduled us. You'll receive an email with my Zoom link. Thank you so much for your time. I'm looking forward to speaking with you tomorrow. That's it. That's it. That's it. There's nothing. When I get on her, when I get on Zoom with her tomorrow, I'm going to show her the links. I'm going to show her the like ad, right? And mm -hmm. then what I'm going to do, she's going to get so much value out of just that alone. I'm not telling her anything else. I'm just going to show her that. And then I'm going to tell her, um, I'm going to tell her, um, 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 no, at the end, here's what she's going to tell you at the end of that, at, at the end of the zoom call, she's going to say, well, Dan, well, Nick, I don't know how to run a like ad. I've never ran a like ad. I don't know how to run Facebook ads. What will you charge me to just do it for me? Okay. Great question. What I charge, first of all, is a good review. And all you're going to really do is pay for the Facebook ad. That's mm -hmm. it. So for every 1000 likes, the Facebook ad budget is a hundred USD. It just comes down to how many likes you want. And then mm -hmm. she's going to say, well, Nick, how do you make your money? Well, Josanna, I'm glad you asked. What I'm doing right now is I'm charging you a good review. And where I make my real money is because two weeks later, we're going to talk again. And if you like what I did for step one and step two, you're going to want me to do more. And guess what? That's where I end up bringing on my monthly clients. So Josanna, I'm going to do all this for you for a good review. You're going to pay for the like ad, 100 USD, 200 USD, 300 USD, 500 is the max. You don't need no more than that. You're going to pay for that. You're going to give me a good review on my business page. Okay. We're going to start there. In two weeks, we're going to talk again. That's when I'll show you our monthly package. And that's when I'll show you how we can start running ads to your local area to capture leads. That's where I make my money. So hopefully I do a great job for you here. And hopefully we could talk again in two weeks because I got some exciting strategies that I want to start running to your local area to help you build your business. So she says, okay, okay, Nick, I could do 300 USD. Okay, Josanna, that's 3000 likes. Here's what I'm going to do. And that's when I go automatically to her business page. I request access. And then once I'm connected to the page, once she goes to settings, page roles. She responds to the request. She puts in her password. Now I'm connected to her business page. Now she feels obligated. Now she feels that we have to do something now. That's when I go and ask for her credit card. I say, okay, Justana, great. So I'm going to set all this up for you. Which credit card can I run the ad with? Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or a Discover? Okay, David, I'll put it on my visa. Are you ready? Okay, great. Go ahead. Four, seven, one, nine, one, two, three, four. And all I'm doing is writing that down. And then, and then after we hang up, then I go to my Stripe account or PayPal and I process mm -hmm. the order. It's, I use Stripe. I use Stripe. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. this one over here. It's free. Um, you can set up a Stripe account. You want to do this for sure. You can use, you can use PayPal, but you for sure want to set up a Stripe account. Okay. So set up Stripe because all you need mm -hmm. is a credit card number. You need the expiration and you need a three digit code on the back of the card and you need the billing address. That's all you need. That's everything actually, but, but that's what you need. You, you have that information written down. Once you hang up off the call, then you come into your account and you process that order. And you tell mm -hmm. the client, you say, yeah, I have to process it on my card because Facebook is charging me. I'm running it from my ad account from your business page, 
but from my ad account. So Facebook's mm-hmm. going to charge me. And I tell her, I say, Josanna, this is the, the, the one and only ad that I do this way. After we do this part and we go to the next step after we talk in two weeks and we start running local ads, that's when I'm going to request access to your ad account. And that's when I'm going to start running ads from your account. That way you can see the analytics, you can see the metrics, and you can see the cost for everything. That's when I'm going to run everything from your ad account. But right now, it's only one ad. It's the like ad. I already have everything set up in my ad account, so I run it from my end. So as long as I explain that, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, okay. um, give me 11, uh, give me one second. Let me, sh- um, 10 o'clock. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, um, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, and that's how I do it, man. That's how I do it. So any other questions on that part? Uh, it's it's fine. I, I got it. I got it. Everything. Perfect. Perfect, man. So so I'll send you this this video here um, shortly, and then just stay in touch, man. Have fun with it, and and let me know if you need any anything else. Okay. Thanks a lot for your time. Yes, sir. Nick, I'll you, talk to you soon. For your valuable information. Thank you, brother. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.